Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Friday. Thanks for joining me on this last day of the week. Actually, the last Friday of April. How about that? Listen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our weather today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 62 and a low of 84. It's special airy day one today. We want to wish these bobcats a very happy birthday, but first I want to tell you what is for lunch. That is chicken nuggets and grilled cheese, mac and cheese, black eyed peas, steamed broccoli, fresh fruit or fruit juice, white chocolate or strawberry milk. Let's get to these birthdays. We have several um, this weekend. We have Camille in first grade. Your birthday is today. Happy birthday, Camille. And in fourth grade, we have Isaiah. Happy birthday, to you on Saturday, JJ in fifth grade, Layla in third grade, and Perry in kindergarten will all be celebrating their birthdays. And on Sunday, Claire in second grade will celebrate her birthday. We also have another birthday um, tomorrow, and that is Mr. James Ransom, um, our head custodian. He takes care of everything around here, and we appreciate him. If you see Mr. James out and about today, make sure and wish him a happy. Happy birthday. Guys, it's going to be short and sweet, other than all the pictures and the videos at the front. I want to welcome in my friend, Miss Mullinax, for Terrific Kids. If I don't see you, remember to purr, be prepared, upstanding, responsible, and always be respectful. Have a great weekend. Good morning and happy Friday, Bobcats. Our first terrific kid today is Benjamin Cooper from Mrs. Darden's room, and this says Benjamin has improved on listening and following directions in our class. He earned many good green and brilliant blue marks on his behavior chart this week, and he was kind to others and worked hard on Lexia. Way to go, Ben. Good job. From Mrs. Lazarus' room, we have Juliet Kennedy, and this says Juliet is a joy to have in class. Each morning she arrives with a big smile, ready to learn and play with her classmates. Juliet is also polite, smart, and funny. Way to go, Juliet. We love having you in our class. Great. From Mrs. McLeod's room, we have Tame Aldenabi, and this says Tame has been working hard this week on his listening skills. He has been focused on his schoolwork. Keep it up, Tame. Also from Mrs. McLeod's room, we have Carvin Smith, and this says Carvin has stayed on task this week and completed his schoolwork. He has really been working hard. Good job, Carvin. From Mrs. McDermott's room, we have Taj Zachary, and this says Taj is participating in our daily lessons, following directions, and completing his work. Taj has also been a great helper. Good job. From Ms. Soper's room, we have Priyansh Kumar. And this says Priyanch has become a good listener. He concentrates on his work and has become a very good reader. Priyanch is kind to his classmates. He loves to be playful in the classroom and outside too. He has grown into a terrific kid. Good job. From Mrs. Davis's room, we have Emrys Connor. And this says Emrys is a sweet student. He does a great job each day and is a good friend to all. Emrys is always willing to lend a helping hand and we are happy to have him in our class. Way to go, Emrys. You're terrific. Also from Mrs. Davis's room, we have Emmy Grennan. And this says, Emmy is our terrific kid this week. She has a sweet attitude and has been working to complete all of her assignments. Way to go, Emmy. You are terrific. Good job. From Mrs. Furman's room, we have Mason Myers. And this says, Mason is our terrific kid this week because he is a very kind friend to others. He tries his best to include everyone. He is very funny and he can make anyone laugh. We really enjoy having Mason in our class. Good job. All right, from Mrs. Schmidt's classroom, the terrific kid is Mrs. Schmidt. This says Mrs. Schmidt is this week's terrific kid because she voted for herself. Mrs. Schmidt wants her class to know she appreciates them making her job so much fun. Mrs. Schmidt is the luckiest teacher at Buck Lake because all her students are terrific. Keep it up. Great job, Mrs. Schmidt. Glad to hear it. 
From Mrs. Wright's room, we have Logan Rice, and this says, Logan is a sweet, loving person. I will miss his warm hugs very much, and your teacher just loves you, Logan. We'll miss you, buddy. All right, from Mrs. Wright's room, we have Jace Seiler, and this says, Jace is full of humor and smarts. He makes us laugh every day with his insights. Good job, Jace. All right, and last today from Mrs. B's room, we have Everett Russo, and this says, Everett is a great student and a hard worker. He is kind to his classmates and always gives his all in everything he does. He is a wonderful bobcat, and we are blessed to have him in our class this year. All right, those are all of our terrific kids for the week. Bobcats, stay tuned, and you will see all of their smiling faces, and you know the drill. I'll catch you back next week with more terrific kids. Bye-bye.